Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Trevor and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the mouse feel in Skyrim Special Edition. So the old fixes still apply the same way they did before. The problem was that back then we didn't really have a good solution for it. Essentially the old fix is to disable VSync um, and obviously mouse acceleration down here as well. Um, but disabling VSync doesn't really work well in Bethesda games because their game engine uh, physics are tied to the frame rate. So if you have double the frame rate, the physics engine attempts to run at double the speed and oftentimes that can break the game. Um, some notable examples are things like the cart at the very beginning, the intro cart, just flying up into the air forever and uh, just lots of things that can potentially break your save. So. Uh, there's a Reddit user here that, I'll have a link in the description to this stuff, but that found a command um, that'll go under the tag Havoc. It's called fmax time. And essentially what this does is it seems to change the game engine's physics speed to basically compensate for a difference in frame rate. So say you have a 144 hertz monitor and you can run the game around that frame rate of 144 um, you would set your f max time to 0 0.069 um, say you have a 120 hertz monitor and you can run around 120 you know 0 0.0083 and so on and so forth with with these uh, numbers here so uh fix is the same as usual besides using that havoc tag so basically basically you want to go to my documents my games Skyrim Special Edition, and you have these two files here. You want to open up Skyrim.ini first. And in Skyrim.ini, we're going to put in that Havoc tag and then Fmax time and then the applicable speed depending on what frame rate you want to run at. Now, keep in mind, changing the Fmax time, this is only if you want to disable VSync and run at a higher frame rate. You can always still just disable VSync um, and, then, and then you can use a program like say DxTory and limit your your frame rate. If you go over here you can see that DxTory has an option to limit video FPS and VSync does limit video FPS but it also for some reason increases input lag quite a bit. Um, this right here limiting your frame rate in a different program uh, I think you can do it with Nvidia and Spectre as well doesn't seem to result in the same input lag. So you can still do that if you want, but if you want to run at a higher frame rate, um, using this Havoc, this Havoc line in the INI really works. So, uh, Havoc Fmax timeline in there, and then I always like to put um, IVsync present interval in both files. I, just a heads up, I believe the command changed from Skyrim to Skyrim Special Edition. Now it's IVsync present interval if you're in Special Edition. Um, so, put that in the Skyrim to INI, save it close, open up Skyrim preferences, and then basically the same thing as last time. Um, I vsync present interval zero underneath display, and then under controls, B mouse acceleration to zero. And that's pretty much it. Um, do keep in mind, just a heads up, uh, this hasn't been extensively tested or anything yet, so Please uh, don't be too mad if this does something weird to your game. I've been playing for quite a while uh, with 0 0.0069 and I get anywhere from 100 to 150 FPS and it's been perfect for me. The game hasn't broken at all, nothing has gone wrong or seemingly wrong. Um, so it's been working for me. It seems to have been working for most people in the Reddit thread, but do leave comments and let me know uh, what your results are like and if it works for you. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you next time. Peace.